<sighs> We're back, folks. Uh, Alright. Time to talk to Butt Tubba. Mm, Bat Tub. I see. What? But how? You mean with this over here? Damn. So that's it. Yeah. Damn. A E Army. Um Alien in the car. I like her little fucking Pac-Man ghost on her. Yeah, she, she got some good fucking stickers. I like them. So, what do you think, Pujaba? How's Sophia's code look? While her programmer is a genius, no doubt about that, you can figure a person out by their code, not just their skill level. Their habits, thought processes, even their personalities are there. Okay. This code is so advanced that even I can't read it and comprehend it right away. Are you... I don't remember you, like, actually co I guess she did code. Yeah, yeah, she was supposed to be, like, a hacker. I don't know. I kind of forget her. I just... My opinion of Futaba is so low that all of, like, the cool parts of, like, her, like... Like, like I don't associate her with, like, oh my god, she's, like, like the hacker 4chan. I assume that she's, like, the hacker 4chan and Reddit and YouTube's. I feel like she just like goes on Twitter all day and stands K-pop bands and fucking doxes like uh, Republicans and shit. It'll take me weeks, even months, to actually grasp how Sophia works. Take you months? Ooh, that's a serious program. I mean, it's a fucking artificial intelligence. It's literally the best, like, literally the top of the line shit we have in like the world. I don't understand. Do you mean I'm impressive? Yeah. Yeah, you're impressive. You're some kind of super AI. Super. If you ever went public, everyone would call Emma old hat. Oh yeah, I guess Emma's like cool too. <laughs> Do we have I mean like series Emma, right? Old hat? What does when old hat? When something was popular at one point but stopped being popular, it becomes old hat. No, 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 it's Futaba. Same people don't really use it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say <laughs> I was gonna say, what the fuck is that saying? Okay, I've got it. You are very knowledgeable, Futaba. Don't go teaching her too much weird stuff, okay? Yeah, show her the weird stuff on the internet. While we're at it, did you see anything about Sophia's past? Her programmer's name? Or a company's, maybe? Ah, <sighs> nothing yet. And most of those leave a signature of some sort in their work, too. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna keep cracking at it from home. I'll let you know once I find anything new. Okay. Um, uh, I can walk you home. I'm good. It's just around the block. Well, folks, time for me to make like a tree. All right. No one says that anymore. She made like a tree. She did. She did make like a tree. We said goodnight to Futaba, then headed to bed ourselves. Alright, bedtime. I had weird dreams last Boy, night. Boy, was that a hell of a day. I went to... You never would have imagined oh. something like this would happen. Yeah, I went to the grocery store in my dream, and I saw old colleagues, so we sat down at a table in the middle of an aisle. Um, and then I sat with them too long, and it was closing, and I just could not shot... Like, you know how, like, sometimes you have horror dreams when, like, you're trying to run, but you can't really run away from, like, whatever's chasing you? I was trying to, like get all of my groceries in an organized fashion and I just couldn't do it and I was freaking out. Um, I was trying to get some deli meat and the people working like there just were closing up shop and stuff and weren't helping me. Um, it was fucking scary. And then when I was checking out and I was leaving, I realized I didn't wear my mask the entire time and I looked around and like some people weren't wearing masks, but not everyone. And then I was thinking, I was like, that's fucking weird. Why is only some people wearing masks? And I'm like, that can't be happening. This is just a dream. And then I realized I was in a dream and then I woke myself up. I try to realize, like, I want to like realize that I'm in a dream more so I can like, you know, like um, lucid dreaming. I used to like be able to do that occasionally, like when I have full control over like my own dream. Um, but it's like a, it's like a really delicate line for me because when I'm in my dream and I realize I'm in my dream, it feels like the fabric of like the dream reality starts to crumble and I'll start to wake up very soon. Like I need to be like 
halfway to realization. I can't have full realization because then I wake up. I'm just like, I get so excited by the prospect of like, oh my god, I'm in my dream. I can start lucid dreaming now that I just wake myself up. Um, but yeah, that was a very scary dream last night that I couldn't get my fucking, I don't know, meat. <laughs> um, couldn't get fucking prosciutto. I just wanted to have fun. I know, but we don't have a choice. We'll cut loose once things are settled. I know. Well, the metaverse reappearing may have been a surprise, but even that doesn't compare with Sophia. Did you call for me? Hi. We were just talking about how you're a huge mystery, says the talking cat. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, good point. I should just write dialogue. I don't have to take that from some mystery app. By the way, how does some top of the line program lose all its memory, huh? I mean, AI are supposed to be super smart, right? Come on, that everyone is... knows she had to remove, like, the leader memory. And arguably true. Aw, oh, don't get too down. It's not over because it. she's stupid. I am humanity's companion. If I am not helpful, she had to delete I'm her memory useless. for some reason, or someone don't be so forced hard her to delete her memory. At least you remember that much, right? Right. I think that means it's important. But is being helpful all you'll do to become a good companion? Is that not how it works? Please explain. How else can one be a companion? Huh? Well, uh... Uh, that's, uh... I guess you just have to find a way to understand the human heart. Hearts? Hearts. Kingdom You're hearts. Right. Then you'll be able to empathize with other people. And be a good companion to them. I guess. The human heart. Look, just, just don't worry about it. Don't all worry you do about is it. Join us and learn from all the kinds of people we meet. In exchange, you lend a hand to the Phantom Thieves. Though I guess you could call this a deal. Okay, that is a decent deal, especially since it should help me become a good companion for humanity. Yep. So long as it's good with our leader. Um, work that AI magic, baby. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Then it's a deal. Glad to have you on board, Sophia. We've got plenty of scouting to do tomorrow. We should get some rest. Okay. Good night, Morgana. Good night. It's the beginning of a brand new day. A day filled with hope. We went back to our former hideout in Shibuya to go check out the jail together. Man, this is fucking taking forever. Oh, do I? I literally have to go next now. Great. Everyone see it. We're going to be infiltrating the jail. Are we ready? We've done this many a time. I can't imagine anyone being phased by this. <laughs> yeah, bro. Bring it. We're very short on intel, so we need to be cautious. We'll just scout the general area for this trip. We use Emma to enter, right? Is there anything special we need to do? I mean, there's literally seven of us. I feel pretty safe with seven. Um, no. We just opened the app and said the right keyword. Find Actually, the right eight. Name in Emma's search Emma. results, then enter the correct keyword on the friend request screen. Yeah, you got it, Butaba. Ah, leave it to the super hacker to explain this stuff. That had nothing to do with hacking. Even you should know how to explain it. All that's left is to choose our point of entry. There will be no enemies in the area from which we escaped yesterday. Upon reaching the relevant location, you will only need to speak the keyword. Seems all that's left is to trust Sophia and see where she leads us. Now let's do this thing. All right. Yeah, this used to be one of our hideouts we used to go to in Persona 5. I forgot. Not this, but like where we were previously were. We would just like meet up there, hang out. Well, did we make it? Oh yeah, you haven't seen everyone's outfits. Okay, <laughs> okay. Let's, 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 uh, let's start. Let's start here. Let's start with guy on the right, the rightmost box. Um, just, okay, just because your name is Fox, doesn't mean you need to wear like a fucking mop as a tail. Like, what the fuck? And of course, like, 
and it's moving from right to left. We already saw Joker, but Joker is just very basic, very bare bones, but also very stylish. It makes sense. Fucking moving on from that, we have Ryuji, Skull, um, who literally looks like he has scoliosis with that jacket. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on there. I mean, I'm probably doing it right now with the way my back is going, but, um, man, I really do take on Ryuji mannerisms, don't I? Fuck. Um, moving on from Ryuji, we have Cat, um, which is just an anime cat. Um, left again, uh, Feather in the Hat, Noir. Um, man, why don't girls wear those fucking, like, poofy, like, short things anymore? Like, <laughs> I don't know, I think that's great. I think that's a great look. More girls should definitely do that. Um, moving on to the left again. Um, not not to Red Panther, but uh, going down. Um, it's very basic, so let's kind of move on from her. Fucking, literally the chicken red looks like a fucking like dominatrix. Um, I do like the pink gloves though. And then yeah, we the one talking right now to the leftmost is Futaba, who just looks like a fucking frog, which is very apt. Phantom Thief attire. Yeah, you do. Oh, I've forgotten this feeling. The fusion of form and function. Truly magnificent. Truly. Look, it's Beauty Thief. My name is Beauty Thief. I thought it was Noir. Let's not fool around here. Huh. I admit, though, these clothes do bring back some memories. We can reminisce later. Take a look at that view. So, this is the jail? Just what is that building? This place is bonkers. Nothing bonkers. escapes the atrocious color scheme of this place. It looks like that because of someone's cognition, correct? Right. Most likely Alice's. The distortion has to be exceptionally strong there for a reason. So you're saying that's the stronghold of the Queen ruling over this jail? Its appearance certainly fits the notion. Buildings around here still look pretty normal, though. Looks like that place over there has a limited range of distortion. The first time we came here, we entered by the crossing down there. That's where we saw a group of cop shadows taking stuff out of people's chests. Oh, you mean that jewel we saw? What the hell was up with that? That may have been a desire. Yo, Phantom Thieves! Fascinating form you've taken. I can't stop staring at the beautifully curved lines. I've never seen an outfit like that. <gasps> Can I try floofing it? Floof. Floofing? I, I think she wants to get a feel for the fabric of your clothes while hugging you, Sophia. Request denied. I am neither a child nor a pet. <laughs> uh, no floofing. By the by, how does Fucking a hate jewel work for an AI? Not right now. Sophia, What's the more about <laughs> Is he asking about agent consent, I bet? <laughs> He's like, so, uh... When do they become legal? <laughs> that is the term used by shadows here. They say things such as, Seize their desires, and... We must offer these desires to the monarch. To the Based monarch. on their language and behavior, I speculate the aforementioned jewel was in fact a desire. That does make sense. When we saw Alice here, she mentioned desires too. So if Alice is the monarch, then she really is the ruler of this jail. But these desires, are they actually made up of the things people desire? Seizing desires of all things. What use would they have for those? Finding out what happened to the folks who got jumped could tell us something. Where could those victims be now? I don't see a place from here where they may be held. I don't know. Maybe they're being held somewhere else. Yeah, I don't know what the desires would really do for... Say, about those people you witnessed being attacked. Are you sure they were humans? Because, like, in the previous game, 
the whole palace thing was like literally you go in there and you're able to change people's minds but you know they didn't actually like the when you go into people's hearts and you talk see their like shadow self or whatever they didn't actually like want anything from anyone else they were just doing their, their own like fucking like evil shit inside but like they weren't like oh i need to like you know bring people in from the outside and bring them in and take their take something from them it was never about that it was just like I don't know. It was just it was had nothing to do with that. So I don't know what they really need from people. It's weird. What do you mean? Well, couldn't they have been shadows or something? If there are humans getting captured and imprisoned in this jail right now, wouldn't there be a huge commotion in our world? Groups of people going missing out of the blue. Now That's there's a point. point. I haven't heard a peep about that online. So no one is actually disappearing from reality? I see. But if their desires yes are getting taken from them are they just becoming like mopes what are shadows a shadow is the parts of you suppressed within your subconscious it's basically just your other self does that mean their main selves are all right no the shadow and the actual self are two sides of the same coin so if a desire is taken from someone's shadow what happens to the person in reality i gotta say I'm getting a bad vibe from all this. Are they trying to influence reality by doing something to the shadows? And how are we to act? This sounds like a crisis. Shouldn't we rescue the victims right away? No, that was just speculation. After all, we've only witnessed the cognitive world side of things. Until we find out how all this is affecting the real world, we can only know half of what's going on. I'd say the first thing we need to do is investigate Alice and her victims. Plus, if we make the wrong move in the cognitive world, there's a chance the ruler could have a shutdown in the real world. Right. We need to get the story straight before we make any. Hold on. No, no, no! Don't skip. Don't skip. Real move. I'd say first we need to get do is investigate Alice and her victims. Make the wrong move in the cognitive world. There's a chance. Yeah, that is actually true. If you fuck up in here, if you like do some stuff wrong, you can actually like fuck the other person like we were able to like defeat some people's like shadow selves in here and like steal their treasure and stuff and make them have a change of heart but you could also like completely fuck people up and like put them comatose if like you don't do things correctly um let's look into catching some z's <laughs> Uh, let's look into our victims. I'm actually more curious about the victims than Alice herself. We can try, but you really think we can just stumble on them like that? Maybe if we look into people who have changed recently, we could get some leads? What say we get into that once we're out of here? Okay, let's get out of here. <sighs> Alright, well... Fuck. That was pointless. We came in here for nothing. <laughs> Confirmed the presence of the jail. Next, we look into Alice and any potential victims. And how do we do that? Look into what? The usual rumor mills. Looking for anything about Alice. Gossip about her being abusive or other messed up stuff. Good idea. Let's gather any intel that we can, both online and on the streets. Okay. <sighs> I've got the web crawling covered. But if we're ever to gain conclusive proof of any rumors, I believe we'll need direct access to her at some point. Direct access to a pop star sounds awfully tough. Uh... Uh, about that. I may get to meet Alice tomorrow. What? What? Oh, because she's a model. How? For real? Well, I had asked the modeling agency's president if I could meet her sometime. I heard she'd be on a TV show filming nearby, so I asked if I could visit the set. I was hoping to learn from her by watching her in action. I gave up on it after making plans with you guys, but I might be able to get the ball rolling again in time. The timing's nothing short of kismet. Yeah, kismet. way to go, Lady On. But huh. I'm not making any promises about it. And there's no way we'd get to approach her either. Plus, our full group's just too big. 
The most I could even ask to bring is just one more person. So me? Of course. I think I was just volunteered. Well, that settles that. We're counting on you. Ted. Give Alice shit when you meet her so you can get some evidence out of her. So you can get some evidence. Oh, I cannot wait. Hell yeah. Hey, you better not be thinking of trying anything funny. I'm the one That's who true, I can't fuck with Anne. I think I'll tag along with you. We'll be fine so long as no one sees me. For today, let's focus on her potential victims. Let's go. Looks like everyone's out gathering intel. Let's not fall behind. Talking, examining, approach people, and press B to speak with them to get information. Talk to be gathered from sources of the people. Local shops may have valuable information. Okay. Nay, 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 nay. Let's listen in. Ugh, so hot out. What? You ever wonder? You ever wonder why we have to wear jackets in this weather? Our company's so old-fashioned, forcing us businessmen to wear suits. Well, that's not fucking helpful. Wait, who's talking about Alice? Where? Mm -hmm. Buchiko. The statue of a loyal dog, Buchiko. See, I was right, it was Buchiko. Because, it, you know why I knew it? Because it's not Buchiko in real life, it's Hachiko. The Hachiko statue is basically, I think Hachiko was an old, like, an old tale about this, like, dog that, um, had an owner. And the owner was an old man, and the owner passed away, but the dog waited every day by, like, uh... I, I think, like, the dog... I think the story is, like... Sorry, I'm telling the story bad. I think... I think he would, like, take the train in or something like that, and the dog would wait there for him to come back or something. And one day he didn't come back because he died, and the dog would just continue to wait there and wait there every single day waiting for his owner to come back. It's something like that. It's very sad, but, it, like, I don't know. Like, people resonate with the story of how loyal dogs are, so... They made a statue of him. But could they still be considered humanity's companion? Yeah, that's actually that's a good point. What they are doesn't matter. The most important thing is trusting each other. Hmm, I'll do my best. Smoking area. Look at all that puffy smoke. It must be hard being crammed into such a small area. Can we go smoke? Can't believe that. Lottery mm -hmm. stand. This is a store too? Was I also in a box like this? W w where... Hmm? Where's the Alice comes? Won't you give me your desires? What the fuck? What? Oh, hello. Oh, Futaba. Uh, too many people can't do it. Wanna go home. Yikes, you okay, Futaba? I thought you said school had, got, school had gotten used to crowds. I underestimated the summer vacation edition of Shibuya. The swarm of parties is just too much for me. And even ignoring that, going up to people I don't know and eavesdropping on them or pumping them for intel is way out of my league. I'll take care of it. That's true. He's right. Leave this to us. You've got the online front locked down, Futaba. This should be helpful. I can lend you a hand, Futaba. We can both lock down the online front. Oh, thanks, Sophia. Time to join forces as a cyber sleuth tag team. Hey, 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 Susie, cyber sleuth, cyber sleuth. Wait, hold on. Am I pointing at it now? Yeah, I think I am. Cyber sleuth, Digimon. You like uh, Digimon? <laughs> I just remember like adults uh, trying to. Oh my god, look at that guy slouching. Fucking asshole. I just love it when, like, it just reminds me of, like, when, um, adults would try to talk to kids and they're like, So, uh, you like, uh, Pokemon? Uh, what kind of Pokemon do you like? Uh, the red one? Oh, the, 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 the fat yellow one? Is that a Pikachu? Okay, I'll help however you like. Nice recruiting, Futaba. We're counting on you, too. Thanks. Thanks for talking to me, guys. I'm feeling a little more comfortable out here now. Oh, hey, why don't you take this, Ted, for helping me out? May it aid you on your quest for intel. Salty papaya. <gasps> I want a salty papaya. So, 
We should focus on gathering intel. Why don't you ask around the station square or Central Street? Okay. Oh. Interesting. Alice is more popular than I had imagined. I wouldn't be able to avoid hearing people speak of her, even if I wanted to. So Alice in Wonderland, I admit, is an intriguing and visually striking space to work with it as an artist. Hmm. Looks like there isn't anything here about the rumors surrounding Alice. We'll just have to ask around. Okay. Let's just go to Central Street. Oh my god. It's been so long since I've been here. Can I go in here? Hey, hey! Bookstores in the city have so much more variety. It's a shame we don't have time to read right now. Okay, well, I was gonna go in and talk. Good thing, Wishy. You're gonna get something to drink? Source 10 HP. Muscle tea. So good, it makes you say, oh! Practically liquid caffeine. I like muscle tea. Let's buy a muscle tea. Good. Excuse me? Dude! Okay. I think I found someone that was in the jail. Can you come to the alley behind the airsoft shop? Okay. So, I know this might sound like it's confusing. There's a lot going on, but... Welcome. Alice Haragi? Oh, do you mean Alice clothing line? Well, yes, we do carry it. But I'm so sorry we're all sold out. We only put them out for 10 minutes ago, but the fans came in and swiped them all up. I'm so sorry they missed really? it. Wow, gone in 10 minutes? I guess it's possible, but those fans have some dedication to buy it out so fast. Let's be sure to remember this. Oh, there we go. I knew people went crazy for stuff, but this is something else. I keep hearing stories about relationships going south, even folks ending up hospitalized for exhaustion, and Alice's name always comes up. But could she have something to do with all of it? But how? And oh, why? Yeah. I guess there's no point in getting stressed over it now. Oh, I know. Are you hungry? No good ideas on an empty stomach, you know. I want to grab a crepe and start to brainstorm. I already know which kind I want. Extra chocolate and extra whipped cream. Oh, and maybe I'll have some have them add strawberries. Oh my god, I want that. Uh, just hearing that burst in my belt. Really? Then there's no reason not to go all out at this point. Let's throw a triple scoop of vanilla and then full mixed berry toppings on there. Fuck. Alright, so the airsoft sh shop... Oh, wait, hold on. Alice, of course I've heard of her. Everyone in this class has. Especially the boys, they love her. My friend's boyfriend even went as far as breaking off their relationship, all because he took a sudden interest in Alice. I know she's cute and all, but cute enough to leave someone behind? Hmm? Let's listen in. Hmm? Oh, come on, man. I need the money, please. Again? I just lent you money for all your Alice obsessed bullshit. I know, but there's a new Alice original coming out, and I really, really need it. Like, I wouldn't even be able to think or breathe if I don't get it. The guy with the brown hair. It's the same guy we saw before, right? Dude, why are you so suddenly obsessed over some random ass idol in the first place? Are you serious, though? You actually went to a loan shark? I can't believe you. So he's borrowing from shady lenders only to get shady merchandise in return? That ain't normal. And didn't the other guy say he suddenly got obsessed? Could it be? The influence of the metaverse? Ooh, that guy do okay, us to 83. Okay, hey. let's talk to Ryushi. Check out the guy with the brown hair. Wasn't he at Alice's thing? Yeah, okay, yeah, that's what he wanted to tell me about. Okay. Fair. Hi, Haru. I peeked into a, a store in 705 a few moments ago, and all the customers had their, that invitation card. Her number of friends is probably increasing as we speak. Alice, is this an interview or something? Sorry, but I hate her guts. Go ask someone else. Alice is a type who toys with people's lives. She only cares about fans lining her park pockets. Okay, we're at 85. Oh, there's nothing really down here. Okay. Oh, new lockers. Isn't having the lockers as far from the station kind of inconvenient? Yeah, that is a good point. And I know we don't really see that in America, but yeah, they have like fucking lockers. If you want to like drop some shit off, um, I think it's a cool idea. I like it. Hmm? 
you really get more bang for your buck at Big Bang Burger. I'm gonna bang this fucking burger. Oh. What is this place? It looks interesting. It's so shiny. This arcade's usually empty. We probably won't get much information here. Yeah, people who like arcades definitely don't go here. Welcome. Can I help you find something? Hey, welcome. Hi, welcome. Let's That's what you're getting. Yeah. Your Super Jolt. Thanks. Thanks. I don't know. I might need it. Hi, welcome. Our meat buns are always We've fresh and piping hot. Oh, shit. This is pretty good, actually. Wait, I want four in Nico Man. Thank you. Man, I'm going on a shopping spree. Okay. Hmm? Makoto, what's up? <laughs> so, Dragon, like a Yakuza, is finally out? <laughs> I just, I can't just go by myself, though. Oh my god. Okay, so, funny that this should happen, I just bought, like, a, dr uh, a game called Yakuza, like a dragon. Uh, which I was thinking about streaming, maybe, potentially? I don't know, I'm, like, still debating on it. Um, but I think you guys might like it. Um, but yeah, I forgot. So at the cinema, they just make parodies of like movies. That's just like very obvious. Uh, should I grab a couple tickets? <gasps> Eek. How long have you been there? N no need. The poster just caught my eye is all. Anyway, I heard quite a few employees at this theater were let go all of a sudden. The rumor is it's all because they weren't fans of Alice. What's that about? No one gets fired for such an absurd reason without something going on behind the scenes. Very true. You can really get lost in here. What can I get for you? You'd like know. to order that? Let's get donut worry. Thanks for waiting. I like donuts. Find anything useful? No. Alright, let's we're looking for that last person, I guess. Okay, we've already been here. Already been here. Hmm? Let's go back to the main area. Say Station Square. Maybe there is someone talking around here. Fuck Buchiko. Hmm? Still talking about that. Okay, I thought he would talk about something. It, it, there's lockers right over here, too! Why are they complaining? God damn. Just a bunch of complainers. So. Um, nope. So. I hear that Alice's base of operations here in Fubuya. Let's have more information. Okay. I don't see anything there. Make me your slave. Jesus fucking Christ. Bunch of fucking simps. I don't know if I can say... Actually, no, I can definitely say that here. Um, I know, like, Twitch is like, you can't mm. say that anymore. Look how busy it is. I guess it would be when it's this hot outside. So can we go in and ask questions? No? Be the employee look employees look as busy as ever. I feel exhausted just watching them. Oh yeah, we already got that information. We already talked to you, right? Yeah. Hmm? There's a thing over here, remember? Let's go back before the heat gets unbearable. Come on. Where's the last thing? Everything is shit. Just that, okay. Um. Let's see. There aren't a lot of people past here. We'll have better luck getting information from Bolo Bolo. Hmm. Airsoft. Temporarily closed. That means a Y is not here. I figured a Y would know about Shibuya, but that's there's not much we can do if he's not here. Okay. So. 
in Persona 5, I got to have like a friendship with this guy that run an, runs an airsoft shop um, here called UI. And he was like a former Yakuza member. Oh my god. There's black people here? I didn't even think. Oh my god, they disappeared. <laughs> I was like, there's black people here, and then they just start disappearing. Like, oh my god. The fuck? Well, I'm glad that they actually made, like, black people NPCs in this game. I didn't honestly think they would do that. Karaoke. We can't really ask around here. Let's try somewhere else. Okay. Welcome to Big Bang Burger. Hi, welcome. Well. Thank you. Okay. Can I go in the theater? Hey. Anything interesting playing? Not that we have the time to watch a movie right now. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. What can I get for you? Yeah, I already got that one. I'll just add this. <laughs> Am I crazy? I just go do store by store, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Man. Take a look around. Thank you. I know I already talked to all these people before, but like, I honestly don't know where else I'm supposed to go. Yeah, we already got that info. Store that rents media, that seems like a lot of work just to borrow information. This is so fucking weird. Why? I'm gonna have to look this up, aren't I? This is... This is stupid. I shouldn't have to look this up. But like... Is there a spot I missed? Hmm. I feel like there's one big spot because it, there can't be like small ones, you know what I mean? Store 705 a few moments ago. I'll How do I go to 705? Wait, where's 705? Is that where I have to go? Okay, yeah, yeah. Why doesn't people want to talk to me? Please talk to me. There's no one that wants to fucking talk to me about this shit. Listen. Oh god, it was him? Alice, you're so freaking adorable. No one could ever compare to you. I'll, I'll do anything for you. Buy you fancy jewelry. Take you out to the finest restaurants. I'd send my life over to you if I could. 
this guy's completely lost it. It's like he can't even see us. I've heard of being crazy for someone, but this is way too far. God damn it. Alright, we investigated. How's the information search going? I'm literally right in front of you. I mean, not in front of you, but like I guess you're like down the street. Why don't we meet up and share what we've gathered what so far? Oh do? yeah, I guess she's like, e like texting everyone. Hmm, Makoto's got a good point. Should we gather everyone up? Uh, yes, yeah, do That's it. That's true. All right, then let's go meet up at the connecting bridge. So how'd it go? Anyone learn anything useful about potential victims? Yeah, we spotted a couple familiar faces. We found some of the people who were attacked in the jail. You really found them? Which means the ones ambushed in the jail were indeed only their shadows and not their human forms. But there's still one thing. They're all acting real weird. Weird how? They're all totally crazy for Alice. They're even getting loans so they can buy more shit at her store. That's pretty weird. You mention it. I saw others behaving similarly in Shibuya. Yeah, like this one couple nearly splitting up when the boyfriend bought everything Alice related he could find. There were even people let go from their jobs because they weren't Alice fans themselves. I've even found some reports of Alice fans straight up assaulting outspoken. <laughs> Hell yeah, fans. dude. At first, I figured they're Alice stands. Was just the fan Hell yeah. This seems so much worse than that. It honestly should have been a K pop had the band. Desires to do from them went or K there's a K-pop the star. Case, then we have to do something. Agreed. It should have been a fucking Such Opa Gangnam style. Continues to rise, we could easily find ourselves in an unwinnable position. With the metaverse involved, we're the only people who can stop this. Mm-hmm. We have to help. It looks like you've finished gathering intel on Alice's victims. Yep. Would you like to investigate her next? Tomorrow is do or die time. That's right. Yep. Let's break for today and pick this back up tomorrow after your trip. Good luck with the Alice visit, you three. Thanks. We're on it. I made my way back to LeBlanc. Oh, heading out? Don't be too late coming back. Is that the inspector? Mm, boss, it is. this curry is fantastic. Oh yeah, everyone calls him boss. Thanks. I love that people call him boss. A certain TV studio filming location. So this is going out live, huh? Even I'm starting to get a little nervous. You still good? Hey, stay in the bag. If they find out we brought a pet in here, they'll kick us out. A pet? I mean, she, he's literally outside the bag. Quiet on set. Aww. Well, I guess if I can't be seen, you two do your best to blend in too. We're fine. All we're gonna do is watch. Should I also make efforts to blend in? Yeah, just hang tight for a bit, Sophia. Just no problem. Yeah. Just chill oh, out. Here she comes. Miss Alice on the set! Holy crap! Oh, she really is adorable! Trotting back from commercial! Back in five, four, three! And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of the show. We have a special guest with us today. She has taken the fashion world by storm and conquered it. Please welcome the designer, Alice Hiragi. Uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Alice. You sure have been keeping busy these days, haven't you? It's only thanks to all my fans that I've been able to do what I do. And what a number of fans you have. Talk about strong support. Am I wrong to presume that you I designed this is the a weird you're song to play? It's just over so this. cute. Very expressive. <laughs> Thank you so much. The theme of my current line is Alice in Wonderland. I'm shocked. <laughs> I feel like fashion is a rare and beautiful thing that can take anyone into a world built on their dreams. You can find a side to yourself that 
maybe you didn't even know you had. Fashion can do so much for us. I try my hardest to focus on that whenever I design a new piece. Such wise words from a successful industry veteran. What inspiration originally spurred you into fashion design, if you don't mind? <laughs> to be honest, I was very shy growing up. I didn't have any friends at school. I would get so lonely. I wanted to change so much, but I just couldn't figure out how to do it. Then, one day, I saw the most beautiful dress in the shop window. When I put it on, the whole world felt new. It was like I was hit with this blinding ray of light. I really can change. That's what wearing it made me think. I strive each day to give that same feeling to every person who tries on one of my designs. I want to give that ray of light to others. That's what inspired me to enter the fashion industry. Really? Huh. Haha, <laughs> now I can see why the young people love you so much. How do you handle all the dating... rumors? W what the fuck uh, happened with his voice with that? Uh, what? Uh... <laughs> What's going on? I don't get it. Is this some kind of scripted thing? I wonder what's wrong. Are you okay? Alice. I Oh god, it was he was one of oh, I love you, Alice. Please spend your life with me. What? <laughs> uh, hey. What is all this, huh? I didn't realize until now. I love you. Uh, this is really out of the blue. All right, stop it. <laughs> yeah, this bit's going on a little too long. Oh, this ain't I a bit, baby. It. I can't live without you. This is the real deal. What, what the hell? A full-on confession. Me, what about me? Oh my God, we got a love is triangle going on. Those two were engaged already, right? Oh shit. Wow, what a train wreck. I can't believe this. Damn. Alice is no! trifling. I am begging you. Alice, please! Just shut up already! What has happened to you? What is this mess? <laughs> that girl, Alice. Uh, they canceled filming on the spot and escorted everyone off the set. One second. Alright. I mean, I'm coming back to this, but I'm actually just going to come back to say the episode is over. <laughs> not because something bad happened. I mean, that made it sound like something really bad happened. No, nothing bad happened. Um, it's just that there's two things. I just realized we're almost at 50 minutes, uh, so don't want to go past that. Second, um, I didn't want to just end it right after... Like I'm um, saying, I'm gonna take a break, like take a sec, like five. Um, so, cause it, it would seem weird that like it would cut right when I'm saying, "Oh, I'll be back in one sec," and then the next episode you see me in a different sweatshirt, being like, "All right, well, continuing on." You'll probably think like, "Oh shit, did he like, did he forget to, uh, you know, hit start or like or like unpause the video and we miss some content?" No, you're not missing any content. I'm gonna hit stop recording, right? Fucking 